Welcome to IMB. I'm Gabe. I come from Brazil and I'm a PhD student in the Hukus lab. I joined the international PhD program last year in 2019 and today I'm going to be your guide. I'm going to give you a tour of all the places where the IPP interviews take place. Um, and as you probably know by now, the IPP program is composed of many research groups. Most of them are located outside of IMB but still very close by either here on the university campus or at the University Medical Center. In addition, I will also show you the core facilities that we have here at IMB. And of course, as an IPP student, you will have access to all of them regardless of where you're located. Um, so let's start our tour and follow me. Um, this is the foyer, this is the entrance point to IMB. IMB was founded in 2011. Right now the IPP program is composed of 52 programs and IMB is home to 15 of them. Here in the foyer we have many uh, scientific programs like the IPP symposium, but also many social events like the Christmas party that we have every year and also the kicker tournament. And now we're going straight to the second floor. When I came to the IPP interviews in 2019, I spent quite some time here in this room. Um, I attended talks by the group leaders and I also gave my own brief presentation. This is um, the seminar room and it's a place for great scientific exchange. Here um, our seminars and lectures are held. There's a balcony out here and if we look down we can see the atrium. Let's go there. So this is the atrium and here we have the IPP um, interviews. I remember that when I interviewed here last year I was quite nervous and this is not only a good opportunity for the PIs get to know you but also so you can ask questions uh, and make sure that your scientific goals meet their interests as well. It sort of feels like a speed dating and in the sense that after 15 minutes uh, a bell rings and then you swap tables and then you interview with another PI. Um, here in the atrium we also hold um, scientific events, so for example, uh, the posters that we have in our annual conferences, they're also here. It's also another place for great scientific exchange. And in case you're wondering, yes, these are real olive trees. Next room! So now we're in the heart of IMB, the Science Lounge, and Shamita will now take over the tour. Hi, I'm Shamita from India. I've been working in the Ketting Lab since last November. This is the Science Lounge. It's our favorite place to hang out and it's the heart of IMB. This is where everyday life and social events happen. One of them is the open mic event. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the most beloved equipment in the IMB, our coffee machines. This one is called Milky. This is the second coffee machine, it's called Coffee. Do you want to see the labs of IMB now? Come with me, let's go take a look. So this is IMB's Doku Zone where we have our desks and our workspaces. Let me now take you to the laboratories where we do our experiments. So now we're entering the lab where Vanessa will be taking over the tour. Hi, 
Hi, uh, I'm Vanessa. Uh, I'm from Portugal and I'm a PhD student in the Look Lab here at IMB. Uh, I've been working here for more or less three years and I will be showing you guys the core facilities uh, that we have in the building and you will be actually accompanying me going to the microscopy core facility so that I can check some of my samples. Okay, so now we're in the microscopy core facility and I'm here with Sandra, she's the head of the core facility and she will be telling us about the very cool microscopes we have in the building and also uh, about her favorite one. Actually, we have a few cool microscopes in the institute. So a very simple one, let's say a stereo microscope or microscopes with a color camera where you can do some imaging of the solution mm -hmm. sections. And these are more basic instruments. And then we have the working horses, like the confocal microscopes, and widefield microscopes, mm -hmm. and the spinning disk microscopes, and um, also super resolution mm -hmm. microscopes instruments. So we try to cover the whole range. So Sandra, what's your favorite microscope? <laughs> That's a quite difficult question. It's more like, what's your favorite friend also? We have, um, a few really cool microscopes, so mm -hmm. I like very much the Opera Phoenix. It's a more a box type microscope machine. It doesn't look like a microscope, but you can produce a lot of um, data. Mm -hmm. You can put in plates, microwell plates, or just standard microscope slides, and um, acquire two channels at the same time with two cameras. It's very easy to handle, and also the data processing afterwards. Okay. So hi, we're here in the Genomics Core facility with Hannah, and she is going to tell us what is going on here. My name is Hannah from the Genomics Core facility, and we provide uh, services in next generation sequencing. We do different library preparations, for example, uh, mRNA or total RNA, chip seek, single cell, and we have two sequencers, the next seek and the mind seek. And also we are open for new approaches as well. So uh, now we're here in the proteomics core facility where Falk uh, is the head of the core facility and you will tell us uh, more about the equipment that is available here. We are operating uh, mass spectrometers, so we are operating two QXF plus mass spectrometers and an Explorers 480 which was just installed last year and we are helping researchers with their experiments by performing dimethyl labeling, TMP labeling, SILAC mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, help with the data analysis. My name is Stephanie, I'm the head of the core facility for flow cytometry. Uh, what we are doing is mainly to uh, conduct cell sorting experiments for the users of the IMB uh, that they can create stable cell lines and also for single cell sequencing applications. On top we also train users on all flow cytometers that we have here uh, that they can uh, do their experiments independently afterwards. So now we're in the media lab and this is in 
Andreas, the director of the IMD core facilities, and you will be informing us about all of the amazing core facilities we have in the building. So we have uh, great facilities here, and the facilities were actually planned directly from our executive director, Christoph Niers, from the beginning on. And we have seven core facility units, uh, mainly bioinformatics, genomics, flow cytometry, uh, histology and microscopy mm -hmm. together, uh, protein production, proteomics and the media lab. All these services uh, uh, they provide uh, are for all uh, researchers at IMB, but also for all IPP students. The core facilities also run an S2 lab and an hot lab, so where you can do uh, radioactive work. We offer different larger equipment, uh, like here the uh, Typhoon or a Nanotrop or different blade beaters, uh, ultra centrifuges and, and X-ray instruments. So we have different larger e uh, equipment, mm -hmm. which you also offer to all uh, IPP students and uh, all researchers at IMP. So right now we are actually here in the media lab where we produce a lot of different buffers and media and what you see behind me, plates. We produce um, almost 2,000 agar plates per week, not only for bacterial work, but also for C. elegans and uh, for yeast. And uh, we produce them over there in, in these um, instruments. And over there, we produce all um, the buffers and media and uh, solutions. We offer almost 50 different solutions. You can just uh, come to us and pick it up in our cold room. We have, of course, uh, even more core facilities and maybe you want to join me and we can visit the bioinformatics uh, crew or uh, also the protein production. Uh, I will introduce you to Anke, one of our bioinformaticians. Hi, um, I'm Anke. Uh, I'm one of eight members of the bioinformatics core facility and in our facility we are analyzing data. We are analyzing all sorts of data but mostly next generation sequencing data that is produced here in our genomics core facility. For many projects we act as collaborators and we offer a full analysis starting with raw data and ending with publication ready figures and tables. Also lab scientists come to us for advice on statistics or experimental design or data interpretation. And in addition to analyzing the data for our students and postdocs, we also give courses, teaching them how to do the analysis themselves and also how to interpret the data themselves. Mm, these courses include um, basic introduction to R programming and plotting, but also uh, more advanced courses on NGS data analysis and biostatistics. Now we are here in the protein production core facility and this is Martin, he is the head of the core facility and he can maybe tell you a little bit more about the core facility. So welcome to the protein production core facility. Our core facility is assisting IMB researchers in um, producing recombinant um, proteins and enzymes for them that they require for their research. For example, if they want to recapitulate any in vivo findings um, in vitro showing, for example, direct interactions or enzymatic activity on substrates. We are also assisting researchers in um, supplying them with homemade antibodies and other uh, enzymes that we produce here in the facility. So we are now at the end of our tour. We hope you liked it. Yeah, maybe next year you'll be here having coffee with us. But for now, good luck with your interviews and greetings from Mainz. Bye! Bye.